Hey everybody, I want to give you all a little update on an inverter that I purchased through eBay. And I'm going to put the picture of the seller and his ad, her ad, whichever one, on right here, right now. Look at this. Okay, so you've seen that picture. Now, I'm looking at something that has pretty decent components in it, but I get the box, typical Chinese shipping, typical everything covered, you name it, um, in a bag with some foam, little book, bag of fuses. That ought to be a hint. Okay, so I get that, and the first thing when I take it out of the box is I hear this rattling noise inside the inverter every time I turn it one way or the other. And I'm like, oh boy. So since they sent a bag of fuses, I'm figuring, okay, well, they intend on you opening this inverter. They even go as far as sending you this big, massive book in level three Chinglish. So it's not terrible course you know um, that covers every inverter ever made by uh, inverter co China and they give you the basics on it following situations are out of warranty if your warranty card or serial number is missing if your human error warranty expired damage or loss disassemble or modify disassemble without authorization from the supplier I would call that authorization. Um, violating vi Violation of machine operator terms such as continuous overloading, wrong battery, and all that. So they tell you your warranty ain't crap if you disassemble or modify. Well, disassemble. But why in the hell would they give you that? That's a lot of fuses. And it has a lot of fuses. Look like they were put in, if you look over here, we're with a pair of third grade channel locks. Now, here's problems. Let me show you this. This inverter had this screw rolling around inside of it. Now, that's, that's not quality control. That was easy to hear. I thought I heard something through the box. I thought of something outside of the box. Thought it was that bag, but it wasn't. It was that. And that. And that. These are all the parts that were loose floating around inside this inverter. Inside this inverter. I'll show you another thing now. Now this will say P-U-G-U -U on most of the inverters are some W-R-K, whatever. They're all the same. So you look in here now, I want to show you this. This is a transformer. We ain't got to the good parts, so stick around. That's a transformer right there. I want you to show you that. Look at that screw. And look at this, how well secured that is. Look at that screw up against that transformer. Now they could have used a screw that was a sixteenth of an inch shorter, or let's say two millimeters. Could've. Nah, didn't want to do that. So, now would this inverter have just worked if I took these parts out? What about my merry way? Well, I thought, hell yeah, let's get ready to package it back up, put some battery power to it. But hell no. Upon inspection, where did this come from? Well, we look around here. Oh, hey. So I went and I put one on. I put that on, because it didn't have one. There it is. Just looks like when it was boxed, it was crimped and broke. And then I thought, man, that's there it goes. That's nice and solid. There we go. Because you know this is going to this is what helps your sine wave stay stable and be low frequency. And then I go, oh, hey, what the hell? That doesn't look good. Where the hell's the wire? There's the capacitor. 47, I think. Yeah. Well, there's a capacitor, 400 volt, 47 farad, microfarad. 
Where the fuck is the wire? No wire. All right, that's not good. Okay, so, screw, parts, broken capacitor, sent the manufacturer, or sent the sell, I sent the seller um, pictures of this. Do I get a response? Uh-uh, no response. Send them some, another picture, response. Uh-uh, no response. That was a couple days now, I'm like, huh. And I got looking around here, I like pulled all these parts out of this big tape, this big sheet of plywood. Nice, isolated, MDF stuff. And I'm like, okay, here's the mount that goes into the bottom to the board, okay? And just, not even lock nuts, just screws. And I pull them all out because you gotta slide the board out. And I'm like, that's odd. Huh, four screws, three standoffs? Holy shit, man, when does this stop? So this is your typical Chinese quality, all right? So whenever we're out there and we're bitching about Russia, but we know they suck, and we're backing up China. Oh, China good, China good, Russia bad. Bullshit. We give them $500 billion. They give us shit. Just straight shit. So yeah, this was only a hundred and something dollars. However, that screw here was supposed to go into that heat sink there. So I took a machine screw and put it in. Started looking for a capacitor, figured I'd just solder it in, take my losses, because the seller, nah, they're not responding. And look, here, one more time, here's the seller. And when you look at that seller, and they say, sold in USA, proper, you know, the stuff is in USA, every time you see that on eBay or Amazon, you're like, hey, I'm supporting a USA person. Horseshit. They get it shipped almost overnight, DHL, to Kentucky or to Georgia or to California, and they throw it in the post office, and they claim that they already had it, which is bullshit. Don't pay attention to that. It says, item in USA. Horseshit. So I'm just calling this all out for what it is. This... Relabeled, you can probably peel off and find another brand under it. And it's probably gonna work when I do the repairs on the damn thing. The MOSFETs look like a decent grade. They're not Fairchild. They're not IR. They're not anything special. Transformers look like half-ass decent quality. When I put a piece of rubber down here on the tip of that bolt, I'll feel a little more comfortable there. But China gets $500 billion out of us every year, and people are bitching about what? Nothing. They're bitching about, uh, what, Trump and, and uh, Russia. Well, I don't know. Trump's been like seven times more tough on Russia with sanctions and shit than the last guy. So I can't bitch about that. I'm more interested in these assholes. These guys are selling us stuff like this 24-7. So I've got to now get a capacitor. I have got this secured, still not perfect, but if you look over here, this is gonna bother you too. I want you to look over here and see where they've cleaned the wires, and those two, before I did this, were touching. <laughs> this Toretto transformer, they were touching. That would have been a lot of fireworks. So, if you get these and they blow up, almost day one, you look at the diodes over here, if you get these and they blow up on day one, now you know why. They don't test a damn one of them. They don't spend a nickel testing them. These are hand soldered basically in most conditions. And I'm looking at this at the bottom and I see that this thing has got a lot of hand soldering on it and some piss poor soldering at that. And you look over here and you see where they had the strap and they probably put the strap on because you can see the stretching in it while the solder was hot. And then you look over here, and you see the solder joint. It's half missed. Look at that. Oh, I just knocked a wire loose. Look at that. I just knocked it loose. Look at the shit I got to do to this. Now, am I talking a lot of trash about it? Yeah. Did it earn that trash? 
yeah. So once again, here's the seller's picture and his ID, her ID. This is what comes with it. And I was originally going to hook this up into this big thing right here that's being framed out right now. This is my bug out camper. And if it could run it, man, just imagine how many they could sell because it would be something worth people wanting. But instead, we've defaulted back over to the Power Bright, which I, I use for my semi truck. And I now will install in here permanently because made in China, but engineered in Taiwan, it's better shit. So there's the battery bank. There's that. The next video is going to show you how we power this up. Look, here's where all the windows are going in the bag. There's the steel structural. This is already, this is 065, so it's not heavy, but it is strong. So you watch how we're doing this. But back to this. Piece of shit. I'm not going to PG rate this other than the notification. But there's your Chinese stuff. So when you go to eBay Inverter and you see something that says True Sine Wave, and yeah, it's got a nice capacitor. I mean, this thing has nice parts. It's got shit construction. Nice parts. Look at, I mean, look at the, the fans are good. Look at they're ducted into a really good heat sinks. I mean, these are really freaking impressive stuff. It's just assembled by idiots. So when you think about $500 billion of our money goes over there for them to buy tanks and, and hack our shit, this is what you're getting. All right, there's not a chance unless we work on it to get these made in America, but holy shit, that's a hell of a problem. All right, folks, there it is. 2,000 watt Chinese inverter. Verdict, piece of shit. Seller, irresponsible. eBay, probably covering for their ass. All right, y'all be good.